This is a video on some build tips for the XFly F14 um, based on my experience in building it. The instructions with the uh, F14 provide basic information, but there's some information that it would have been helpful to have while building it. So the tips will include the wings, the elevators, uh, main gear, nose wheel, and skid plates. The wings were pretty straightforward. The hard part was getting the push rod to snap onto the wing, okay? What I ended up doing was using a screwdriver to push it down uh, onto the wing, and as you can see, um, I was successful at getting it snap on, but the screwdriver went through uh, the fuselage, and you can see uh, it came out the other end. So a uh, different way of doing that is to remove the um, push rod from the control horn on the servo um, and then attach it to the wing uh, and then install the control rod back onto the servo and then install the wing uh, onto the fuselage and that way you don't take a chance on uh, sending a screwdriver through the fuselage like I did. So the way to get that control rod uh, on the wing, as you can see in the picture here, this one is for the elevator, but you get the idea, um, is just using uh, uh, some pliers to push that uh, control rod, um, push rod onto uh, the wing here uh, and not take a chance on uh, the screwdriver. Putting the four screws on the wing assembly is pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing I did was add some blue Loctite on those screws before I screwed them in. So this is what it looked like when I was finished. So similar to the wing, um, you have to put the push rod on the elevators here. Um, and basically what I did was I unscrewed that uh, screw that's holding on that little ball. Um, and then I just used the pliers um, to put, snap the, um, the push rod onto that little ball and then screwed the, um, the, the, that little ball back into the uh, elevator um, once I had it set. Not risk uh, messing up the, uh, the plastic bracket of the elevator. The main gears are relatively pretty straightforward. Just push it into that hole and you have to push it in hard enough that you hear it kind of snap a little bit and then you're done. So on the nose wheel, there is the option of getting this, uh, I guess, a CNC uh, metal uh, gear, and it has the, the two wheels on it. Um, since I fly, I actually land in grass. Uh, I like the bigger wheels, so I didn't actually attach the, um, uh, the, the CNC dual wheel um, nose gear, so that's up to you. So in the instructions, they covered um, the steering mechanism for, for the nose wheel, but they didn't show uh, this little plastic spacer uh, and that was included in my kit. So that goes uh, underneath the, the metal steering arm, and here you can see it uh, in place. Uh, I don't have the metal steering arm on there, but that's what I ended up doing with that old spacer there that was included. So also included in my kit was this little piece of white plastic um, and there was no instructions on that that I could find. And what I did is I think that's for uh, if you want to do a belly lander and remove all the gear, you can put it there at the nose cone there, and that'll help protect the underside of the, uh, the aircraft when, when you land. So hopefully you find these build tips useful when you're building your kit, uh, and hopefully you won't make some of the same mistakes I did when I built mine.